The following presentation was recorded at the NDS Public Conference in May 2022. So, hello, um, good morning, good afternoon, um, everybody here in, in Frankfurt. Um, glad to see at least some of you again in person and uh, everybody else online for the uh, fourth NDS Public Conference. So. Um, yeah, we're happy to meet with you again and uh, report about uh, the progress and the latest developments in NDS. Um, yeah, so let me uh, start. Okay, um, here's the, the agenda for today. Um, short overview um, from my side and introduction of new NDS members. Um, we're also pleased to have Woven Planet uh, talking about um, how they're using NDS Live in their automated map mapping platform. Uh, then a short break. Fabian is going to report together with Andre about the technical achievements, followed by live NDS Live demonstrations and a panel discussion. Um, after the second break, there will be further demo from BMW and uh, DSpace about closed loop testing of automated driving features using NDS and OpenDrive. Uh, then Fabian is going to present the NDS Live Evaluation Portal. Um, then we will have a short change in the, of the agenda. NDS Roadmap is then uh, presented by Otto Nero. And uh, after the closing remarks, we will do the lunch breaks. So that's for everybody here in Frankfurt as well as online. So um, we will continue. Um, with all the topics before then closing with a lunch break. Okay, so let's start then. Um, yeah, we have, four years ago, we started with the first NDS public conference um, to be more open and more, uh, talk more about the NDS strategy and the benefits publicly, hence create more visibility and awareness and um, also have a wider discussion and feedback from the industry, not just the NDS uh, association members. Um, and I think this has worked out very well so far. We have about 250 registrations for the for today. Uh, so um, also with the online versions of the presentation seems to work out pretty well. A short recap. Um, this is a a slide that I showed last year at the NDS conference about the highlights and the goals for the upcoming year. Um, so we wanted to um, focus on creating more visibility for NDS, um, also by having dedicated uh, marketing activities. And Philip Hubertus from here has been driving that. Thanks a lot. So we have four new members, more than 40 articles online and 1200 uh, followers uh, on LinkedIn already. We also wanted to have a more structured approach on the product definition and the roadmap. The process is well established by now. Um, and we are also now systematically covering the open drive converter. So from NDS to open drive and also the other way around uh, as part of the product uh, definition and roadmap. Um, interfaces from NDS uh, to other um, standards in the industry are important. Um, the most important topic was NDS Live. So um, the goal for us uh, um, was uh, to have a clear structure with NDS Live and also release the product. That has happened. We'll uh, see more today. Um, as said, we have uh, moved from a database specification to a software layer wrapping the database. That's, that happened through NDS Live that has been released. And the last thing we wanted uh, to accomplish was to make uh, access to NDS for non-commercial use much easier. So meaning you don't need to sign up for NDS membership. And that's also done. We have now uh, made the NDS Live specification openly accessible. So from that point, I think, we have achieved all the goals uh, we have set forth. Summarizing 
um, the NDS vision is, is the same. Um, NDS is the worldwide standard for uh, map data and automotive ecosystem with worldwide coverage and global adoption. Uh, it's one specification providing enough flexibility for customized user experiences. A map data, um, so a data model with a structure and semantics and automotive ecosystems covering navigation, driver assistance, and autonomous driving uh, for in-vehicle applications, companion, cloud, um, and um, yeah, any uh, additional vehicle-related service. So I think also we're working towards our vision um, as, as we've planned. In terms of membership, uh, we are now at 42 members and we're really happy to have three, uh, to announce three new members. Uh, DMP, Dynamic Map Platform with Usher, Neo and Parkopedia. All of them are going to give a short in, uh, inside overview about the company and the offering and activities related to NDS after my presentation. Um, so stay tuned. Yeah, um, NDS Live is now uh, openly accessible uh, for non-commercial use. So this has just recently been announced. Um, and with that, we want to make it easier for new companies to review the specification, uh, get used to it. Also, we're looking for new and additional requirements and use cases. We would like to enable uh, these companies to build demonstrators and um, also go out to their customers before they um, have to sign up for NDS membership. Um, there's a link um, in case uh, you are interested and not yet a member. I would like to mention that commercial use of NDS um, requires uh, to become an NDS member and uh, exceed the M NDS member cross licensing agreement. So looking into that, um, as said, NDS membership is a prerequisite to release and ship commercial NDS-based products. Um, in addition to the openly available tools and specification, we will provide also additional uh, development tools and, and support. And um, we, um, within the NDS organization and in the working groups, um, we can jointly work on new features and specification, hence avoiding duplicate work and also benefiting from collaboration. Uh, the NDS support team um, is also available. Um, Fabian Klebert and his team are doing a great job um, supporting um, customers and their projects, uh, implementing NDS Live. And lastly, you can have a stronger influence on the future development of the standard. NDS membership um, is associated with the, with the membership fees here in overview, um, how we are investing that money. Um, so the NDS membership fees are um, used to further the, the, the specification. The vast majority of these uh, budget goes into technical development, as you can see here. Um, documentation and certification, uh, as well as administration uh, together with marketing, but also tool licenses, et cetera, to have an infrastructure available for all of our members. Looking now a little bit into the um, details, what we, um, so what we have achieved um, with NDS Live, so um, one of the goals that we wanted uh, to accomplish by um, redesigning NDS and releasing NDS Live was to have also um, uh, well-designed um, uh, interfaces for supporting ADAS and AD uh, applications. So we have now HD map layers with the uh, attributes and elements, as you can see in, in the yellow box, we have ADAS map layers. And we still have on the right-hand side, the infotainment IVI uh, map layers um, 
that that can be used for infotainment and navigation um, applications. Um, a couple of uh, highlights um, we would like to show uh, about releases. So we have continuous updates and releases of the specification. Um, so there's, as you can see, I'm not going to read out all uh, the issues, but um, looking into both um, driving the NDS classic features and, and roadmaps, but all, in particular also the NDS live um, in parallel um, uh, and supporting a, a number of features which are based on, on our roadmap. Um, yeah, with NDS Live, um, as mentioned, we're moving away from a central uh, database storing map data to a distributed system, um, having an API available. So open API specification is the basis um, for disclosing the NDS Live um, in interfaces that's done. And uh, uh, yeah, Fabian Klebert and his team have also implemented um, uh, and then li a link to Autos or some IP so that we can uh, distribute map provider data uh, inside the vehicle. And I think there will be a demo later on. So if you're interested in that, please um, stay tuned and watch the demo. A couple of words on marketing. So on the NDS website and LinkedIn news, um, 26 news articles have been published in the last 12 months. Um, thanks for everybody for contributing content. So that's a member companies content, content in most cases. We are still looking um, also for additional or new content for, for the future. So that's an opportunity for all of you to, to get visibility within NDS and Philip is always Philip Hubertus is always looking uh, and is supporting uh, to, to to create and um, uh, prepare the content um, for being published on LinkedIn and, and the website. A couple of um, conferences and presentations are upcoming. So um, ITS World Congress uh, September, I think the, uh, September in Los Angeles as a uh, presentation and panel discussion on dependable HD maps for safe automated driving. So that has been accepted. Um, in October, there is the SIP Ados workshop in Kyoto, uh, Kyoto um, where NDS has been invited to participate. In uh, November, there is the ELIF marketplace conference in, in Baden-Baden, Germany. And it just turned out we have uh, actually three NDS related presentations accepted there, which is quite amazing. And um, with, uh, the alignment with other uh, initiatives in particular ASAM is also ongoing. And we have submitted a paper for the ASAM International Conference in December, which has not been accepted. Was not yet, <laughs> not yet, not yet. Um, also this for any NDS member, if you have any ideas, for additional presentations and conferences that either NDS association itself or one of the member companies is submitting at a conference, please let Marcus uh, Juncker or myself know. Um, we can also use that um, yeah, way to get NDS more out to the market and, and more visibility. Yeah. A um, couple of more uh, data on uh, attractiveness of our website, uh, LinkedIn. So um, uh, yeah, as you can see with um, the marketing activities, we are continuously growing um, our visibility, attract more followers and um, uh, views on our website. And uh, also during the last year, um, we released a couple of uh, videos um, on, on YouTube, in particular on NDS Live, um, that have been pretty, um, we've had received pretty much attention there. And also, I think that's something we will continue going forward.
NDS, um, yeah, one of the benefits of being a member of NDS is uh, the certification. So being covered by the NDS certification. Um, for NDS Live, we um, also defined a, a certification process and defined the, the tools um, according to that. So we have a prototype. The NDS Classic certification is ongoing um, and the number of certificates, as you can see below, is continuously growing, meaning that our members are sh uh, continuously shipping systems level, uh, using NDS maps. So thanks also to Andre Heinrich from, for driving the uh, certification. Um, NDS needs the maps. Um, the map data is um, offered by uh, commercial map providers. Here an overview on the, the coverage. So for NDS Classic, you can see a table here um, where our various uh, map providers uh, do have map data available. Um, NDS Live, that's an area where I would like to for, for call to action. Also the map providers to increase the map coverage. We'll see some uh, demos today. Um, if we can increase the coverage there, that would be great. Now, um, coming to, to the end, call to action um, as, as set as, um, for the, the next year. Um, my go goals are, um, now, as we now have NDS live released, we'll continue to work on the visibility of NDS and also um, the marketing acti activities, especially to further promote NDS live uh, and see more adoption of NDS live in the market and the industry. Um, we will to continue, continue to work on the NDS roadmap and the product definition to make sure that we're actually meeting all NDS members' uh, plans and expectations. And uh, lastly, um, with NDS Live, I'm really looking forward to see more products, projects, and demonstrations with NDS Live um, uh, happening in, in the next 12 months. So if you can have some more demos next year, or even um, know that NDS live serious uh, development projects have been started, that would be a great achievement. And that's what I'm keen on is getting a progress and update uh, in one year from now. If there are any questions, Fabian Klebert as technical coordinator, Markus Juncker as administrator, and uh, myself, we are available for your questions. Yeah, further information, um, there's uh, the NDS website, LinkedIn and, and YouTube and also my mail address for any questions here available. Thank you for watching. Visit our website for news on NDS at nds-association.org.